House of Representatives says the parliament will no longer accept under remittance by revenue generating agencies into the federation account. Speaker Femi Gadabia Mila made this position known while flagging off a five day interactive session by the House on the 2021 to 2023 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Desa reports. It's that time of the year that ministries, departments and agencies of the federal government interface with the National Assembly on the budgeting process. President Mohamed Buhari is expected to lay the 2021 appropriation bill before the parliament any time from September. It is in preparation for that exercise that the House is hosting revenue generating MDAs to help them defend their revenue projections for the coming year. The chairman of the Joint Committee and the Speaker are unhappy with the gradual decline in remittances by some of the MDAs. Revenue generating agencies should cap their expenditures to so 60% and remit the balance. So this, of course, we be backed by the amendment to uh, Fiscal Responsibility Act that will come with 2021 budget. These desperately needed funds have in many cases been diverted to finance unnecessary trivialities. At the same time, the government is left scrambling for alternative sources to fund priority projects. We cannot afford this dynamic and we will not tolerate it anymore. At the technical session, the Minister of Finance here represented speaks on government's projections and targets. The oil benchmark of $40 uh, that has uh, been projected and then an inflation rate of 11.9%. The revenue generating MDAs defend their projections, but lawmakers are alarmed they are much lower than the projections of previous years. 2021, we have 1.4 uh, trillion. For 2022, we have 1.7 trillion. And then 2023, we'll have 1.758 trillion. I spend 119. Ah, what is that? For every single one of the aviation agencies, we have not altered their gross revenue projections. The Budget Office says it has scheduled meetings with ministries, departments and agencies of government from next week Monday with a view to reviewing projected revenues which were submitted in the height of the COVID-19 outbreak some three months ago.